<laughs> this week is spring week and I am so excited to welcome some spring. So our teen craft for this week is going to be a really pretty sun catcher. It's a little crystal sun catcher. Um, it comes in a tiny little kit. All materials are included in this one handy little bag, but um, you should probably grab a pair of scissors as well because um, it will make life a lot easier. Okay, so let's get started. The absolute first thing you're going to want to do is find the smallest beads in the bunch. You'll need eight of them to complete your ends. So pick eight of the absolute smallest beads. <laughs> they, here. They're that small. Um, pick eight of them, doesn't matter what color, and set them aside. And then you can very carefully dump your beads out. Okay, so I'm going to set aside eight. All right. Now you can do this freeform like I did. I did not have a pattern when I made mine. I just put it together willy-nilly. So you can see the bottoms are all different lengths. Um, the crystals don't form any kind of pattern but I kind of like it random. Your mileage may vary. So if you want to lay out a pattern first, that's a very good idea. Even if you don't want to lay out a pattern first or have a pattern per se, I started off not laying out my beads first and about a quarter of the way through the project, I found that I had to only because you want to make sure that you're not using too many beads on the first couple of strands and then you've run out by the end, or you don't use enough beads in the first few strands and then you have leftovers. Actually, I still had leftovers on this project. They do give you a good number of beads. So um, I would go ahead and just lay out um, roughly some of your beads so that you can get a sense of how much space they're going to take up. And depending upon how intricate you want your design, um, this could take a while. For our purposes, I'm just gonna put them out in a very random order because I like random. <laughs> All right. Okay, so these are all different sizes. You wanna make sure that you are varying both the color and the size as you go so that you're not left over with all of the little beads, which is really tempting to reach for the big beads first. Um, but that's gonna make your pattern look weird, even if it is random. So I highly suggest adding in the smaller beads before you even start stringing. So once you've got that part down, um, we are going to grab our little metal bar. You'll notice there's four holes, one for each strand. And we're gonna separate out our string. This is a little bit difficult to work with because it is curly but after a while, the weight of the beads, once you string them, will weigh it down and they will eventually lie flat. Okay. This is a project in and of itself. <laughs> We're almost there. Okay, I highly suggest separating out, out all of your strands 
before you get started because it's much easier to separate them once than several times. If you put them too close to each other, they will tangle up again. Okay, so you should have five strings. So even though we've got four little strands of beads, that fifth string is to um, create a little hanger for the top. We're gonna do that part last. Okay, so take one of your strands. You're going to uh, poke it through, top and bottom holes, and you can go ahead and put one of your teeny tiny beads on, and then make a double knot. You might find that it's easier to make the double knot and put the bead on before you string it through the metal bar. That is completely up to you. Okay, now I attempted to do square knots with these, thinking it would um, be a little bit more stable. But with this plastic, the square knots actually fell out. So just a double knot is totally fine. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna move my camera down so that you guys can see the table that I'm working on. should be better. So I'm going to hold this up so you can see. We've got a double knot on the top. Don't worry about that tail yet. We're going to trim everything at the very end. Okay, so this is going to be the top of our bar and we're going to start stringing that first set. Once again, don't worry if your string curls up on you. It's going to do that, but eventually it will stop. Alrighty, so this is easy. Uh, laying out the pattern is probably the most time consuming bit of this whole entire craft. Okay, so once you have reached the end, go ahead and hold it up and see how it's going to fall. So that's, that's pretty long actually. So that's right where we wanna be. Now we're gonna cap off the end before we tie it off with one more of those teeny tiny little beads just like this. So I'm gonna string this one on last. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a nice sturdy double knot with the leftover 
string. Don't worry if it's not all the way down at the end because your beads will slide down and cover it nicely and that slack will appear at the, at the top, which is fine. Okay, make sure that double knot's right over the top of the other one. Okay, pull it nice and tight. And now there we go, we have our very first strand. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going and we are going to do four more of these exactly as we did before with the top, starting with one piece of string and a seed bead. Okay. This time I'm gonna try a little bit differently. I'm gonna make the knot first at the very, as close to the end as I can. I'm gonna make sure I make a double knot. You wanna make sure that you make a double knot so the seed bead doesn't slide right over the top of it. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to string that tiny little bead And I'm gonna thread this through the top. In fact, I think I'm gonna do it this way from now on because that is much easier. Okay, so go ahead and thread this through the top of your sun catcher. And it should look just like this. So that new string is right next to it. So we're gonna go ahead and string this one up next. All right, so when you are making your second strand, go ahead and match this up to the first one and just see if you need more or less beads. This looks like it needs a few more.
Okay, so we have reached the end of that one. You do not have to make your strings of beads even. You can if you want to. So when we end that, once again, we're gonna put one of the tiny little beads right on the end, just like so. And then we're gonna make another double knot. Give it a good tug. And then do one more knot over the top of it. And one more tug, okay. So like I said, the strands are gonna be pretty curly when you start, um, but they will eventually fall and um, the weight of the beads will weight them, weight them down and make them nice and straight eventually. Okay, we're gonna do our third strand exactly like the other two. We've got a couple on here. We're gonna, okay. So all I've done is use some scissors and trimmed the tops uh, and the bottoms to make it nice and even with your very last piece of string. All you have to do is thread it from one side through the next. Sure it doesn't come out through the wrong hole. Once you've got it through, just go ahead and give it a nice double knot, like so. And give it a good tug. Square knots don't work as well. All right. All right, and once again, if you don't feel secure and you're not, you can go ahead and put a little dab of glue on there. And now you have a crystal sun catcher to hang up in your window or your garden or wherever it makes you happy. <laughs> okay, join us next week and uh, we'll see you soon. Happy crafting.